Hi everyone, my name is Alex and this is my 1992 Nissan S13. So since I've purchased the vehicle, I've actually done my fair share of modifications to the car and I've tried to document my progress with it, but going back to the footage, I haven't been able to retrieve some of it or access all of it. So I thought I would put together this little video and kind of just give you guys a brief rundown on what I have done to the car. After bringing the car back home right off the bat, I knew immediately what I wanted to address first and that was actually the interior. Uh, I don't know if the previous owner was a serious coffee drinker or if they shit everywhere, but there was just so much just stains and just a bunch of just nasty marks and stains all over the carpet that weren't, they, they weren't a sight to see, you know, it, it wasn't anything pretty to look at. So immediately I knew that I wanted to address the interior first before I got to anything, uh, Mechanically, oh, man, this UPS driver be fucking revving it. <laughs> but um, so yeah, uh, right off the bat, I knew I wanted to address the interior. That meant getting new seats, uh, redoing the carpet, repainting the interior, because it came uh. Yeah, so the carpet was really, really nasty. Seats were torn up. Rear seats were very very badly stained the uh the dashboard was cracked to hell as you can imagine steering wheel was falling apart and just the interior together was barely being held together it, it was nothing to look at and every time i sat in the car you know it felt like i was gonna catch something you know it was a little scary so um immediately started uh purchasing parts i got some bucket seats uh, race harnesses harness bars quickly steering wheel i repaired my dashboard and what else did i do yeah wash the carpet painted it, painted the interior pieces so I could kind of go for a uh, black interior. The interior is so much better now. It's not fully there, but it is absolutely more pleasing to the eye than what it previously was. Right now, I'm at a point where it's okay and I'm happy with it. It's not done, but I'll continue with, you know, fixing up the interior, making it look a little bit nicer, you know, later down the road. When it came to, uh, you know, the mechanical uh, aftermarket parts or whatnot. As I don't know if you guys can see from right here, but I did a five lug swap because five by 114 or die. Um, obviously the new rotors that came with it, dropped it on some cheaper coilovers, not the cheapest coilovers, but I'm not totally familiar with the brand. So trying to keep it, trying to keep it pretty budget, but kind of just uh, tidying it up, did some suspension arms in the rear to get it driving more safely making it not feel so much like a boat when you're you know, driving on like you know some bumpy roads or anything like that just making the car feel more planted i didn't actually mention it but uh the wheels i'm on are some cosmos uh n5r i believe that i believe that's what they are they were just an extra set that i had lying around for my daily but now that i did the five lug swap i was able to throw these on and i think they look really good on the 240. there's some 18s you know nothing crazy a little big to some people but i think they look nice but uh after I got the car visually pleasing on the inside, you know, making me happy to drive it, and after I caught the car uh, planted, feeling good around the corners and some stiffy boys, uh, I noticed that the power delivery was a little bit laggy, and I noticed that it's because the engine and the transmission would damn near do a full 180 every time you were on the throttle. So, motor mounts, transmission mounts. Got some poly mounts, threw those in, and they really helped stiffen up, you know, the, uh, like the car and everything. So I'm happy about that. Uh, one thing I did do to the car that I actually didn't try documenting and I, I regret just a little bit is uh, I went to solid subframe bushings. And while I thought that'd be something cool to help you know minimize the lag of the power being delivered to the rear wheels, it's noisy, it's noisy as hell. And I actually have a cause 1.5 way uh, limited slip differential that I got off of a Facebook Marketplace, uh, you know, shout out Lizard Boy. What's his name? What's, what's Facebook's name? 
Mark, Mark Zuckerberg? Yeah, Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah, shout out, shout out Mark Zucky. But um, yeah, so with the helical diff and the solid subframe bushings with no absorption whatsoever, the car whines. The car whines a lot. So expect another video. Who, who knows? Maybe I'll buy a new subframe and go to Pauly's like bushings because I really dislike it. But besides the fact the car drives, it's looking real good and I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm pretty much just making this video to kind of inform you guys what I've done so far since I'm not really able to provide all of my recent footage. You know, like I said, I've lost a lot of it. But um, yeah, expect some more videos. Uh, I'm actually going to be installing a White Bunny clutch kit that I got for the car soon. So happy to be doing that. And we will see what else is to come. But hope you guys stick around. Hope you guys enjoy my videos. and. Have a good day. Happy Halloween.